Hello there everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to program in the Union Centennial software a trunking system. To start off you're going to want to read from your scanner. It's always important to read from your scanner because if you have made any changes on the scanner and you didn't do it in the Centennial software, you will lose the changes once you rewrite the program and export it. To do this you're going to simply go to scanner which is up here read from scanner and then you're going to select your scanner which right here for me this is my scanner it should usually show up right here if not check you have it in scanning mode and all that and then just hit ok and you'll see this loads here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete these just because i don't need them and i'm going to do a clean slate program for you so to, to start we want to check for updates right so update firmware to do that you could, as you've seen update and then update firmware select your scanner and hit ok obviously mine here is up to date and so i don't have to worry about that and if it isn't it just goes back and does it for you and then it lets you know and then you're always going to want to update the database as if you don't do that you will not have all the newest channels and also if you don't update over time your firmware will get so out of date that it will just begin to slow down to begin now is we're going to be creating a favorite list for programming right so we're going to want to go to edit edit favorite lists and then do a new favorite list and we can name this anything that we want so for example i'm just going to name this video list And then hit OK. This will show up. I don't personally worry about this, so I close it. I hit yes, and then we're good. So now for the fun part. Programming is pretty easy once you can get the concept of it. You might have been wondering what the database is for, and this is exactly what it is for. Depending on whatever country you live in, you can hit the plus icon. And I'm going to just subtract it here. Canada and US is what the database exists for. I don't know about other countries. That's just what's here. I'm going to choose a random state. Because I'm just going to program something from New Jersey. From New Jersey, I guess. So we're going to do that. I'm going to close this because I was working on that earlier. And then from there, I'm going to select the county or the region that I want to program. So let's just say we want to program Union County. And then we're going to choose from our selective tabs what we want to use. Nationwide, you can probably find that everywhere. Statewide is dependent on the state. And county systems, what you would most likely go for each county for. It seems like there is... Okay, there it is. So what I'm going to do is there's not really a P25 system there. So I'm going to get close that and I'm going to open a county that I know there is, which is Ocean County. I'm going to open it again, county systems, because that is everything for the county. And then I'm going to go to Ocean County P25. This is the system that I want, wanting to import. You could do this for any system that you have here. As long as it's here, you'll be able to do the next step. So once you're there, you could either select one of these, or like these, or select them together. And do it like that don't worry about the sites they'll automatically import so for an example i'm just going to import all of the ocean county p25 system so what i'm going to do is i'm going to right click on it and then i'm going to do append favorites list what i'm going to do is i'm going to select video list but this could be more complicated if you would have more lists so just check what you have and then i'm going to hit ok With that being said, it is now in the system, but we're not done yet. So after we do that, what we're going to do is we're going to check that it is being monitored so the scanner can pick it up and do everything that we need to do. If not, you're effectively programming it to be useless. So what we're going to do is we're going to right, we're going to go to our favorites list and we're going to right click on the name monitor favorites list and then if it's off we're going to turn it on 
and if it's on, we're not going to touch it. You also want to be sure that this is on, and with that being said, you're now ready to write it to your scanner. To do this, you're simply going to go to Scanner, Write to Scanner, you're going to select your scanner, you're going to tick both of these and hit OK. I am not going to do that just because I don't want to override my current programming, but that's about it. I hope that made it easier for you. I know there wasn't really a lot of other videos out there to explain the chunking programming directly, so I hope this explained it better for you and I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions, please be sure to leave it in the comments below, and I will see you in the next video and tutorial. Thank you for watching everyone.